Election headquarters, the deadline to register for the August 4th election is just a few days away now, bringing new questions on how Missourians can cast a ballot in 2020. Color 10's Bailey Stroll is with me now to, after speaking with local affection, election leaders, I should say, Bailey, do they expect a rise or a fall in voter turnout for August? Well, that's the thing, David. Recent changes are actually making it more difficult to predict how many will come to the polls this August, and many voters might opt out of in-person voting and decide to mail in their ballots instead. Those hoping to avoid public polling places come August and November have a couple of options. Missouri law now allows those who are at risk of complications due to COVID-19 to submit an absentee ballot as usual. But those who don't have an excuse must request a mail-in ballot, get it notarized, then mail it back to the county clerk's office. Green County Clerk Shane Scholler says the extra steps are to make sure no one else can use your mail-in vote. So there have been instances where um, when you have a high volume of, for example, mail-in ballots. People have harvested those ballots in the past, and so the legislature was trying to prevent that by having the mail-in ballot option, making sure the person personally mailed that ballot back themselves. And while these new options help cut down on crowds and potential spread of COVID-19 at polling locations. We'll have a number of people who are going to vote in person, but as many as people that are able to either use the mail-in ballot option or the um, number seven excuse for the COVID-19 option, that will help in terms of socially distancing on the day of the election. Scholler admits these changes make it harder to gauge voter turnout. Normally we use the number of absentees requested to kind of give us a good pulse of what we expect on election day. But because we know we're going to get more um, people who want to vote by mail, um, that's not necessarily going to be the same um, reliable predictor that we've had in the past um, for in terms of turnout prediction. Now, November, we anticipate there's going to be a high turnout regardless. Now, Scholler says he thinks the main driver for getting people to the polls, at least in August, will be the Medicaid expansion issue on the ballot. He says if you have any questions on where to get your ballot notarized, you can call the county clerk's office in Greene County. They'll help you with that.